Greetings, everyone. My name is Four Extraordinaire, and we have our first patch by the devs over at Amplitude. So for this specific patch, this is done by the dev um, for community ambassadors, I think, some kind of ambassadorship uh, role by Cat of Nine Tails. Um, and this is basically just a post updating uh, everyone for some of the bug fixes, and there are many. Holy crap, look at all of these bug fixes. There are like over 50 of them. Um, hopefully they fixed a lot of them because it looks like they at least got to work um, and there were some very key bugs that definitely hindered the experience like for example I had like a unit that randomly went invisible like on one turn and I just could not find him until like 10 turns later um, among other things and then like the game wasn't even starting for some people with multiplayer so I hope they get that fixed um, and I hope they fixed it but basically I'll just explain this really quickly they are opening a beta you can participate in it here just um, copy this code down and then enter it uh, into to Steam. Their process is here. Um, I'll link it uh, in the description down below if you're interested in beta testing for the devs to help improve the game. Um, I'll certainly be doing that, but for my main reaction just to the uh, patch notes, there aren't too many right now, but I assume they will release more changes as they are more tested. Um, but uh, I, I hope they do at least because Humankind is definitely not the most stable launch. However, uh, so for some of the changes here, uh, just a short little log. We have a broadened generation conditions of oil and uranium deposits to reduce the risk of not enough deposits of either spawning. Um, this was a huge, huge problem. Um, basically, some of the countries had to simulate America and stage invasions of like these poor uh, third world and second world countries because they had oil and they didn't. Um, so a bit too hitting a bit too close to home for me, but um, I don't know. The shenanigans in this game, like you just, for whatever reason, it's just very, very restrictive late game um, to just not have oil and uranium. So even if you have some of the resources, you need just a ton. And if the AI is not trading that, um, you are in kind of a pinch and you need to colonize and uh, invade uh, unsettled continents. So another change is that the technology in-game condition is now triggered by having every end-game technology. I haven't played the late get, get to the late game too too much. I've I've been basically testing the early game um, at the moment, but for the late game, I've noticed the tech definitely speeds ahead way too quickly. So I'm hoping they're going to at least balance some of the tech changes out. And then um, shared project is just a little tweak here. The shared project cities, the little production thing, is going to be basically displayed on the pin. And then they improve the legibility of walls used by fortifications. That's going to be helpful. They also improve the legibility of the outpost panel. Very, very helpful. I noticed some of the icons were way too small. And then they also changed the bonus provided by some cultural wonders. Again, we need more details on that. And then they improve the way AI units hold city walls, improve the way AI handles shared projects, improve the way AI handles armies upgrading, and then they also improved the way AI handles military objectives. So all in all, very, very good. Though I have noticed that the AI is very inconsistent. I might even make a separate video in that the AI is very ex is either extremely aggressive, and this might be over-tuning on their personality, personality, or they are extremely uh, passive, and you can just steamroll over them, or they are, and they are very pliable. Um, like as soon as you get one military unit up, they just are completely passive, and they just immediately want to have a non-aggression pact with you. So not too sure how they're going to handle the AI, and the AI in the future. I think it has some good um, kind of foundations to start off with, but the AI definitely needs some fine tuning, especially in how they hold um, the cities. I've noticed they are very, very reluctant to actually kind of strategize and attack on the same type of terrain. I've had them attack me all the way um, up on a cliff like several times with my arches, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I just had really weird issues with the AI's combat. Aside from that, they're also improving the AI performances, which is going to be very, very helpful because the game turns, especially later on, can be very, very detrimental. So the rest of this is just uh, bug fixes and bug patches. And then I hope to see hopefully some more changes after the closed beta has finished com uh, completion. And uh, this is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Just a quick update from Forex Extraordinaire on the current state of humankind's closed beta. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy and have fun playing the beta if you uh, intend to. Um, anyhow, look out for more humankind content from me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. All right. Love you guys. Bye.